Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Thursday, Cinco de Mayo. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I mean, it's sort of scattered day. Some music there. Um, do you all celebrate Cinco de Mayo? I know I've come to find out it's uh, actually not a... No, I don't need that. Thank you, though, Rachel. Um, it's not a Latin American celebrated holiday, really. Um, Grizel told me totally get this wrong. I shouldn't have even opened open this conversation. It's, uh, tell us, Google it, Rachel, tell us what the celebration actually is. It has to do with like a war. The winning battle of something. Something. Yeah. Someone's going to put it in the comments before I can even look it up. I'm yeah. Sure. Anyway, I should have, I should have remembered. I, I'm terrible with history and with facts and things like that. Hey, Allie, can you hand me that blue bowl? I completely forgot about it. Um, thank you. Anyway, um, history is not my favorite class. One is great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, not my favorite. I'm not even ashamed about it. I just don't love it. It's I should care, but I don't. That's really, really bad to say. I should move on before I get myself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> it commemorates the anniversary of Mexico's victory over the French Empire in the Battle of Puebla. Puebla? Puebla? So it's more of a Mexican is in 1862. It, is it more celebrated in Mexico and not by other Latin Americans? It is looks, that what I'm thinking? It looks that way. Okay. Let me know. Let me know. Um, anyway, we here in the U.S. love any excuse to eat Mexican food. And I'm going to make guacamole today. Oh. I hope it's good. Um, I went to Walmart this morning and they had a huge thing of avocados and I thought... I could pick one up and throw it through a window. They were all so hard. <laughs> I luckily found, I'm like digging in the bottom, four good avocados. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we're going to do a little bit of fun crafting today with our hands. We're not using a Cricut. We're not using a Glowforge, which actually brings me to a fun thing. And we'll talk about it more in the private Facebook group. But we are issuing a craft challenge for this quarter. You have until the end of June. And me and Anna and Rachel are actually going to participate in it as well. So that's exciting. Um, the craft challenge is you have to create a product or project using an oak and lamb file, but you can't use a Cricut. You can't use a laser cutter and you can't use a sublimation printer. You can use a regular printer, right? You can use a regular printer. but. Basically yes. nothing else except yes. your own creativity. So, like, I, yes, exactly. I just want to, like, stretch you all and get you to think outside of these boxes, which are great boxes. But you all are so creative. I want to see what you come up with for a couple of reasons. One is really selfish. Um, we want to do a series on ways that we can use oak and lamb cut files without any of these so that we can we can reach other crafters. So I'm going to steal your ideas. So I need really good ones and I need you to come up with the prototypes. The other thing um, is that I sort of just wanted to be mean. <laughs> uh, That's more like it. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I have some ideas in my head. Um, I don't really want to say them because I'm afraid Rachel will steal one of them. Oh, that I want is to that do. how low you think of me? Yeah. Oh. I'm thinking, so you can, you can use a printer, like a regular printer, not I already have an idea. You don't act like I don't just have my wheels What's turning it? already. Well, we can't say which I'm our ideas are you. because they're going to have to guess whose is whose. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to, though. Anyway. They know us too well. You could print out and use it as a template for embroidery or punch needling, or you could use it as a template for a scroll saw something, or you can print out on fondant, if, however you do that, and make a cake with it, or a quilt like an applique something. There are other options. So this is very exciting. I'm really excited to see what you all do with this. Um, can you use a sewing machine? You can, absolutely. You just can't use a Cricut. You can't use a sublimation printer. You can't use a laser cutter. I'm guessing that also applies to like if someone has silhouette, brother scan and cut. Yeah, not no Cricut, die cut machine. Die cut machine. Die yeah. cut machine, thank you. It's an, it's an umbrella statement. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. Who all do we have here? Beth said, oh, Becca, that's just painful. It is a little bit, right? <laughs> Beth, right? Cross stitch. I thought of you and I thought of that. Yes. Um, if there are sweat stains, I know whose it is. The project. <gasps> You're right. <laughs> She's yep. not wrong. Nope, nope. Um, okay. 
So we are going to be making guacamole. Guacamole, yes. You want to do that now, or do you want yeah. to do it at the end? Oh, I guess the end would be more fun, but you know. It doesn't matter. If I do it now, you all can eat it. But no one wants to hear me crunching. Just do it at the end. Okay. Keep it fresh for me. Yes, yeah, so that we can have it afterwards. <laughs> yes. I'm a little bit bummed that the taco truck wasn't right here. I was literally going to go every day that I want it. I do have a question, Megan. Yes. Because um, some people have never made guac before. Yes. At all, ever. Yeah. How often do you make it? Uh, not very often. But you like it? I love guacamole. I love guac. It's one of my favorite things. And my kids love it. I love guacamole. It's delicious. And it's not It's not hard to make. No, it's not. It's not. I, I see bacon bits. That right. has excited me. I'm putting bacon in the guacamole. Oh, yes. I've never and we'll had that. We'll talk about all of that. Um, also, really quickly before I get started, if, you know, I said that I wasn't going to need the share screen but you knew me better than I knew me, and I'm going to need the share screen. You give this to Becca, <laughs> because, throw that on the table. Because Heavy um, thank you, I wanted to show you all, we haven't shared them. Thank you, Allie. Isn't she such a good one? She's the best. She's the best. Um, I wanted to share the Spanish cut files that we launched on Monday with you all. How exciting. Yes, I thought it was really fitting and fun to be able to Kind of do some of this stuff. Yes. Um, We're super excited to be a bit more inclusive and to yes. be branching out and getting super, um, super involved in other cultures. So we're testing these files out. I just did 10, kind of kind of see what you all think, um, what you all like. And our plan is to also do more um, Spanish cut files. So here they are right here. So cute. I could talk, I could say them, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I particularly love that most of them are food related. Oh, me too. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have some other ones that are coming up that I'm really excited about as well. So here they are. Check them out if you haven't already. Um, and if you are a member of Oak and Lamb, you automatically get these. So this is super fun. Um, Tracy said, my husband saw the beginning of this live. Now he's at the store getting stuff to make guacamole. Oh, good for him. You That's should, you should tell your husband to wait and see Becca's recipe because you might want to wait and do hers. Yeah. Um, yes, and of course they will. <laughs> anyway, if you are not a member and these files excite you and a community of crafters excites you, then click the link Rachel's sharing with you all um, and join the membership. If, if you're curious about it and aren't sure, don't really want to commit to an entire year and pay for an entire year, pay for a month, see how it is. Um, it's $19.99 and you get access to everything on the website. You get access to member only content, our private Facebook group, um, a free commercial use license. So yeah. you can make You stuff. spend more on your lunch break yeah. than you do for yeah. a month with us. I mean, honestly. I, I do at least. I, I <laughs> ate a poke bowl for lunch the other day and it was $22. Exactly. Exactly my point. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's not normal. I don't generally spend no, $22 but, you know, on lunch, but. You know, I'm just saying. It, yeah. it is, it's not a huge investment. Think of what you spend during a day yeah. on your coffee, on your lunch. Invest that into you and your happiness and your de-stressor and your passion by crafting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg for us. We plan to do more. Um, we are going to be starting and hopefully finalizing our beginner cricket course. Um, I would say by the end of this month, right? Absolutely. I think we'll have it finalized by the end of the month. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we're also going to have it translated. So the entire thing is going to be translated into Spanish because we have so many Latino friends um, who would benefit from that. And we're really excited yeah. to have them a part of the vlog, too. So uh, lots of fun things coming up for super Super happy about it. Miss Teresa has a good question. Let's hear it. She, it's not related to the craft today, but she says... Um, is it possible, can you do a video on how to change colors on a sublimation file? Bad, yep. bad story, Teresa. Yeah. Unless it's an SVG, you cannot change the colors. There's no um, way to. Unless you get into Photoshop. Um, Slicing it all, like, yeah. And doing yeah. different things like that. There's no easy way to do it. Since it's a print the cut? 
or a sublimation file, quote, yeah. PNGs are all one layer. You can't really change the color or anything like that, which is sad. However, our most, most, not all, but most of our files have the PNG and SVG version. Um, so you can change the colors and then flatten it and use it for sublimation or pull it into whatever your design software is that you're using and use it for sublimation. So, um, but yes, if it's a PNG or a JPEG or something like that, there's not an easy way to change the colors unless you're good at Photoshop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Shirley said, OMG, you're right back. I'm hating this challenge. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Just think really creatively. You have hey, till the end of June. When you're so you done, some time. you're going to be like a better crafter. You and I'm going to be honest. So, so inspired. In the past, we have chosen winners randomly. I'm not doing that this time. <gasps> this time I'm choosing winners based off of creativity. Not, not how it was executed, but how much you tried. If you Ooh, just print that. off something and cut it out in a square and put it on a card, I'm going to clap we my hands for effort. participation, but I'm not going to give you an award for effort. Right. So we yeah. want effort. It doesn't yes. have to look the best yeah. or, you know, we want some effort. I like that, Becca. Yeah. It's good. It's going to be a little different. That's good. Can you go over the craft challenge again? Yeah. And I'll, I think we'll do a member only We'll do a member only all on about it. it. Specifically. I know that it's kind of mixed up in yes. the Cinco de Mayo live yes. right now. <laughs> I wasn't intending to talk about it. And then it, I was just like, oh, I want to do that. Okay. So first things first, we are going to be making a whole pinata out of a toilet paper roll, which Rachel will remind me. What are the cool kids calling these in the craft world? Um, cardboard tubes. Thank you, Allie. Cardboard tubes. Also known as toilet paper rolls. So if you want a pack of 30 cardboard tubes for $12, you can click the link below. You sure can. Or just, you know. Use your toilet paper and save the rolls. Use your, thank you. Yeah. You can also use um, paper towels, paper towel rolls and yep. cut them. So that would be fine as well. But Becca told me that you could find them on Amazon. And I'm like, she didn't believe me. She crap. thought I was lying. That's crap. Yeah. No, they're totally on there. <laughs> anyway, so I have some toilet paper rolls and then I also just have tissue paper. Look at all these fun colors of tissue paper. It's gonna oh, be really are fun. Are those Hallmark? These were 98 cents though. Wow. Walmart didn't have any non-Hallmark brand ones. Oh. It's very interesting. And then I have some pipe cleaners. This is for the carnation portion. I thought you were going to buy about for the guacamole because you were the pointing over there and I'm like, what? We have tape. Look at my cute little tape dispenser that. Let's go camera too. It's actually Look broken. How cute it is. It's very sad. This part is broken. I'm going to have to like glue it in or something, but tape, just regular old tape. And then I forgot, I wanted the curling ribbon from balloons so that we could do the pool thing with this, but I'm just going to be using this orange and white baker's twine instead and hope that it works well. So this, like I said, is a very easy project. I think this would be fun to do with your kiddos um, because it's really inexpensive to do it and um, they can do it with their little cute crafting scissors. I think Fallon would do really well with this. And I didn't mention it, but I have some little candies here. You can also put some confetti and things in this because when you pop it, um, obviously you want some things to come out. Did you all know, Rach, did you know this about me? That I am obsessed with Tootsie Rolls. I knew you were obsessed with Tootsie Rolls. I didn't know you were obsessed with the fruit ones. I like the fruit and the chocolate. Like, if, if there was a gun to your head, which would you eat? The fruit or the chocolate? Uh, I really, does that, is that um, an ice cream cone? That's what's well, for the vanilla one. It's for oh. the vanilla. Well, what are all the flavors? Let me see. Lemon, lime, orange, cherry, vanilla. Yeah, orange. That's a very odd combination. I like of these better flavors. than Starbursts. I'm not gonna Can lie. Can I have a vanilla one? Yep. Allie, you want one? Yeah. I'm very curious. I cannot believe I caught that. <laughs> two for two. Wow. Okay. So you just have to decide what colors you want to do here. You hate it? Right. Oh my, oh I can't, I can't. We, uh, we're oh never, we're never going to be friends again. No, Allie, give me that. Don't thing. spit it out. Oh my gosh. It's vanilla, what is wrong with you? She's acting like a child. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> Every candy that I love you hate. It's so funny. It's so funny. Um. <laughs> I'm mortified right now. 
She has a post-it, spinning it out into a post-it. Okay. Choose your colors. Rachel, <laughs> what colors would you like? Oh, oh, I want the yellow. Okay. And the pink. Okay. And the purple. Yellow, pink, purple. You get one more color. Those are all ugly. Green. <laughs> Red it is. No. Okay. So we're going to do these. And I'm going to just open this up here. Should have probably cut them. I'm also going to use this for the carnation. So I don't want to use all of it. I think one sheet will be plenty. Kimberly um, says, do we have a Trader Joe's? Uh, we have we, a Trader Joe's in Knoxville. We which do. Is she a, said, if not, I'm mailing something to you just for Fallon. What oh, is it? What is Let it? me know, Kimberly. Because we do have a Trader Joe's. A little close. I haven't been to Trader Joe's since I had gallbladder surgery. You know, I, I got that um, cookie butter stuff there, and I can't oh. eat it anymore because I was in so much pain, and I associate it with it, you know? I love cookie butter. Yeah, yeah I did. Um... I'm just, I'm just grabbing one sheet of each of these for right now. And then, Rachel, remind me to show them when I'm finished with the carnations, um, a picture of a wedding reception that Ann and I did with these, with these um, carnations. Okay. Don't let me forget. Okay. Okay. Where's the, goodness gracious. So just one of each of these for this particular project. And you can use patterns um, tissue paper too. I think it would be really cute. Like with little polka dots on it. Patty says that she twists the chocolate and fruit Tootsie Rolls together. Okay, Patty. I like you better than Rachel now. She can have you. With your tootsie rolls. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat and put these together. Wait, I, I want to go to the other camera just so I can see what you're doing. So okay. you're holding them up. I'm struggling. Yes, I'm just going to layer all these together so How that I, I can cut them all at one time. Because they're so thin, it will be really easy to do that. Kimberly said at Trader Joe's, it's a reusable pickle grocery bag. I want one too. What? I would get a tattoo of a pickle right now. Would you? I would. <gasps> we can go get our tattoos because you're not preggers anymore. I'm ready. We need to schedule that. Although she's about to have a baby, so we're going to have to wait. Who? Our tattoo artist. Oh, yes. I was like, you. she pointed over here and I'm no. like, no. there's something I need to know? <laughs> no. Um... I'm trying to decide how I want to do this because honestly, I just need strips like this. I'm just going to cut one strip like this. Okay, I'll go back to the overhead Okay. Now. This is not an exact science. It doesn't really, really matter. So cutting all of these together. I like projects that it doesn't really, really matter. Right? You know. Why is the taco truck not here for Cinco de Mayo? I don't know. Makes Maybe no they're going sense. somewhere this else. This is like the day they need to, oh, probably. And now what I want to do is just sort of fold this on top. What is that? Air conditioning. Oh. Fold this on top of itself so that I can make multiple cuts and I'm not going to have to cut all the way across. Now, I'm just going to put little, I'm going to fringe the bottom of this, basically. Oh. I think we might need to get the air looked at. Yeah? That made a scary noise. So you want to leave a little bit. I'm going to just cut about halfway up. And this is probably two or two and a half inches. How many times did you fold it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to fold it. I think I cut this in half. I don't want to overthink it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, this is not. Oh, Melissa, that would be so classy. Becca. What? Melissa said, we just need to hire the tattoo artist to come to the camp trip at the campground and give us all tattoos there. That would be classy. I, I'm for it. I I'm think it that the um, Cumberland Mountain State Park would really appreciate that. Okay. So now that I've got that cut, I'm just going to cut a small square out of another here. And this is going to cover the top and the bottom. Of this now I've seen it they've just used one piece of paper I'm gonna use two to make it a little bit sturdier because I'm putting some heavy candy in there um, so what I want to do 
is kind of just place this like this, and then I'm gonna cut a little, or poke a little bitty hole like this. I don't want it huge, but I do want it big enough to put a string in. Let me put this string in here. And then, oh, hold on. Where'd my string go? Now, Rachel, you interrupt me if they have anything fun to talk about. No, I'm just in trouble. Why? What did you do? My mom texted me and asked me what candy I spit out, and I said a vanilla Tootsie Roll, and then I realized I said something about a tattoo, so now I'm, I'm probably going to be in trouble. It does seem that way. See, she just texted me. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm 24, have a baby, and married, but my mom's going to ground me. <laughs> so I've put the end of this right here, and I'm going to just tape it here so it doesn't fall out. Put a little tape right there. She said she disliked the video. <laughs> Take it back, Becky. Take it back. <laughs> so taping that there so it doesn't come out. And then we're just going to put this around the top like this. This is not, see, I'm sort of just wadding it. It's adorable though. And then we're going to tape it on here as well. Take. I like that it doesn't have to be perfect at all. No, it doesn't. Well, you're not going to see this. It's just to hold the candy. Tape, and you want it sort of loose. You don't want it super tight. And I know we have not made the guac yet. She has 30 minutes. Oh. You can come by. We'll, have, we'll probably have the guac made in 30 minutes. Well, now, I don't want to pressure Becca. What do you think, Becca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. I'm almost finished with this. Now you're going to fill your tube with your candy. And please please put a candy better than that in there. Ugh. Guys, tomorrow's Rachel's birthday, and I'm going to get her a whole <laughs> bag full of these. Everyone wish, wish Rachel a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Because we will not be live tomorrow. So you're gonna put your confetti or your candy or whatever you want in there, and then you're going to cover the top as well. Now, if you wanted to hang this up, you would do it the exact same way that we did this. So we poked that little hole in there, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Um, we poke a hole here, tape the pieces on there so that you have something to hold it on. You could also tape pieces of curling ribbon or your baker's twine or whatever right here and not cover the top. It's totally up to you. So if you wanted to, whoop, if you wanted to do it like this, who's calling oh, me? Oh, I see. If you had your Apple watch, you could see. I do have it. Uh, spam. 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 Darn spam. So like this. Either way you want. What's Allie up? says, I got a happy, or you, mini me. You got a happy birthday in Spanish. Aww. Thank you, guys. Yes, there will be premieres tomorrow and Saturday as usual. Um, they're pretty fun videos, too. Now I'm going to take this and wrap it around. I'm going to push this down in here so it doesn't get in my way. Wrap it around like this, and I can go ahead and tape right here. And I can also go around this a couple of times if I want to. See, I like see that? I see what we're doing. Yeah. I see. And then we'll just trim it off here. And then we're going to tape right here. And you won't see that piece, so don't worry about it. Because now we're going to go with this next piece that looks like white, Rachel. It was a bad choice. It's a better a than bad the other options choice. you had. Yeah. I got all the colors, and none of them were good enough for you. Nope. Okay, so just wrapping. I mean, th see, this is just not an exact science, but it's really easy. This is why I'm saying it would be a great project for little kiddos. See, you're like, you're ripping it. I love this. Yeah. We'll do this one next. And I'm overlapping intentionally because I don't want any of my toilet paper roll color to come through. And since this is thinner, the tissue paper is thinner. I don't want the color to be yucky. I like that you could buy um, this paper, like for th for themed colors mm -hmm. too. You could buy, or like you said, pattern. That would be really cute. Yeah, oh, well, that would be very cute. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna finish up right here, 
and then we'll pull this guy out and then I'm just going to fold this in like this up at the top to make it cute and finished. Place a little piece of tape down in there. See how quickly these come together too? If you wanted to do several of these, you could do these. Uh, Tina said, why not crepe paper? You could use crepe paper. Yeah, it's just more expensive. Yep. Uh, for something that was probably not gonna last very long. I would save your crepe paper for some other types, unless you're just, if, if you got it coming out of your ears. Yeah. You know, use what you want, for sure. Absolutely. You can absolutely use crepe paper. All right, look at that. Hang on, let me switch cameras, let me switch cameras. Should oh, I pull cute. it? Pull it. Should I pull it? Yeah. Rachel, do you want what comes out? No. Oh, well. <laughs> You also have to beat pinatas. <laughs> this one, this one's not coming out. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So the curling ribbon would have worked better because it was wider. Yes. But you get the idea. Would have created a bigger hole for sure. Get the sure, idea. For sure. At least that, that candy wasn't coming out unintentionally. True. Okay. I think you chose the lesser of two evils. I there. did. I have tape on my finger and I can't get it off. What in the world? It's also on my fingernail. Yeah, Melissa said use a stick to beat it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we have that. Move my candy over. And this, we are going to make giant paper or tissue paper carnations. My mom taught me to make these when I was a little girl by using tissue paper, like, like you would blow your nose with. And we would fold them up and because they were white and you wanted them to be pretty, we would take a marker to the edge and color the edge before we pulled it out. It was really cute. So we've been making these, Anne and I have been making these for years. And what you wanna do is grab, I'm gonna grab two, pieces of each color. Of every color? Of every color. Because you want these to be full. Oh, okay. You want these to be really full. Okay. I'm trying to remember, the smaller ones probably would only need one each, but I'm making a big one. So I'm just gonna layer these right on top of each other. Let me grab this color. Beth said, I'm going to keep asking about the tape dispenser because there's a fan group here that wants to know. Hobby this is Lobby. the first comment I've seen. Hobby Let Lobby. me find it on Hobby Lobby for you guys. I'm so sorry, Beth. Hobby Lobby. Anna, do you want to help make carnations? Come on. I'm getting two pieces of each color. And then remind me, I'm going to show them a picture of Angel's wedding. Oh, Lord. From, look, look what Anna got immediately. Yep. Rachel hates them. She spit them out like a baby. Oh my gosh, I love like them. Like a Did you baby. Pull the red ones out? No, I don't like the red. You can have the red. There aren't any. Yes, there I are. You. I gave her one. <laughs> now here's one. I'd rather die than eat that again. She has the worst taste in candy. Little Maybe that that was I was pushing it there. So I'm taking two of each of these. Rachel didn't like my color choices either. Can you open the, um, what are they called? Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. You know that I um, had a picture of all these we made for Angel's Wedding, just piled everywhere in my living room. Did you? At one point, had how many we made. Oh my gosh, it was so many. I'm gonna pull up her wedding photos. Why are you laughing? You're not your business. You're not allowed to laugh unless you tell. <laughs> What has, what has been said? Nothing. Okay. You don't have to know everything. 256 of those. Oh, wow. Flowers. I found your all's type this of is, Look. Here, here, I'll link it. This is 256. Oh, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't see that. It's real Why? blown out. Real, real blown out. <sighs> we'll share it in the group. Um, we can put it onto your computer. Yeah. They'll see them when we 
when we show them how we decorate it. Are we this or this? Which do you want to be? Uh, overhead. Okay, we're there. So now we're just going to kind of even these up and we're going to fold them, what, about an inch and a half or two inches? Inch and a half. About an inch and a half. Back and forth like an accordion. Well, I used to make these with bulletins at church. Oh, you were really paying attention. Did you take them them to the Zaxby's afterward? <laughs> I don't know why I've mentioned that twice in one week and now Becca's torturing me about it. I used to take bulletins to Zaxby's on and Sundays and they would. That will still honor art that still has bulletins. Yeah, to probably not. Honor it. Yeah. Oh, we should. And Zaxby's would give you 10% off your order. Yeah. I don't even know if Zaxby's does that anymore. I thought they would be the lime. Oh, they're just the regular old cheap ones. Okay. So we have this back and forth and back and forth. And then we are going to take a pipe cleaner and tighten this. And we're gonna cinch it a little bit like this here, just with our hands. And this you're never going to see. So if you kind of make it um, squished and ugly, you're not gonna see it. It's not gonna matter. Did you tell them about us making those, um, the banners out of um, placemats? No, I didn't. Well, I'll tell, like, We'll explain it. Treacherous. Now what we want to do is take some scissors and cut the ends of these. You can either do them in a point. I need some thicker scissors here. Or you can do them in a curve. So to sort of round them. If you don't do this, they will not be as pretty. But see, maybe I use too many. I mean, it's, no, no, it's no. going to be gorgeous. Yeah. But Where are you going to hang that? In your room. I think you should hang it from your rear view mirror. <laughs> I won't be able to see out of my my front window. That's far too colorful for mine and Anna's taste. That's a little jagged. Looks like you're not on that with your teeth. Are you saying I have jagged teeth? Yep. <laughs> you do have one that's jacked up. Yeah, Dad hit me in the head with a basketball when I was a kid and chipped my teeth. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he deliberately hit you in the head with a basketball. Ever. Really seems like Doug. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to take this. Mind you, Becca knocked one of our brothers out because they were wrestling and she fights like a dude. That was not me. Ben's tooth. I thought that was Jonathan. I don't remember anyway. that. I don't remember that. Anyway, you're going to pull, pull them towards you like this. That's two pieces. I know. Well, I was going to pull... Anna apparently would like to do this craft. I did because ask her. It doesn't have anything to do with the computer. Step aside, Becca. Step aside. <laughs> I like your shoes. Here, do it. Go ahead and do it. And I'll chat with them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the pictures of the wedding while Anna's doing this. So talk them through it. You're just pulling it towards yourself. Yes, but you've done this really tight. And there's a lot of layers. Yeah. I'm going to hate her by the end of this. But it's going to look really cute. You need to blow on it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That is good. Starts to look like a butterfly. Mmm, Anna loves butterflies. They're my favorite. Oh my gosh. Kim just tagged us in the pickle um, shopping bag. It's so stinking cute. Where's Do you want me to switch from? over? Trader Joe's. So adorable. Yeah, look at this. I love it. The, what does it say? The pickle? Trader Joe's, the pickles in a shopping cart near you. Ticket oh, wow. prices vary. Is this white or purple? Purple. Yeah. Okay, you can switch back over to Anna for now while I look at this picture. Yeah, white or purple? She hates paper. Do you like purple, Rachel? Um, it's better than that blue, orange, or red. I thought you loved blue. Not that blue. She likes aqua. I love red. I like aqua and red together. You used to not like red at all. Okay, you can go back to my computer. So if this was a friend who got married. This was her reception. Yeah, oh was my a... god. Yeah, it was a law. She said <laughs> that she wanted it to look super festive and fun. Her and husband is from everywhere. Mexico. Yeah. Yes. Why are all the chairs flipped? Mm -hmm. Um, they were. This was this was, was... the day before. Because oh. you can see this right here is, yeah. I think it oh. was to help keep the tablecloth on or something. Me and Allie both were confused. Yeah. Okay, oh, makes no. sense, makes sense. So. Tell them how we did that, though. Which one? This. 
Uh, you'll have to remind me. Okay, so at that point, I don't know why, but it was really stupid expensive to be able to get those, like the paper banners. So we took paper um, placemats, placemat, doily uh, placemats, cut them all in half, and then we divvied them up and spray painted oh, all of those. Gosh. And then we um, stapled them to strings and made the banners ourselves. Yeah. It was pretty terrible. Look at that cake. Yeah. Monette made Monette that. made the cake. Her oh. husband, yeah, Fernando. It's for Fernando. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, he's a carpenter. Look at Skinny Anna. I know. She got Look it. at your hair. I know, it was really short. I kind of love your hair like that. Oh. It's never gonna happen again. I'm sorry. I'm I didn't... never gonna have that body again either. That wasn't even skinny. But ever. here's a close up. Uh, how, do you remember how many were in each of these clusters? Uh, no, but there. Well, there were a ton of them. I'm trying to find some uh, more pictures. 1280 pieces of tissue paper. Whoa. Yeah, 1280. Anyway, Becky, it was did super you took fun. all those pictures? I did. Love it. This was a long time ago. Here's me and Anna dancing. You guys are gorgeous. I know. Let me see Bex and Fowl. Uh, Fallon wasn't Fowl? born Fowl and born. Beckett was. <gasps> and that's Angel. That's Angel, yeah. Look at that. Why wow, everyone has short hair and I love it. I know. Well, I was doing her hair at that point. All of your yeah. all's hair looks fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Do you want a pixie now that no. you're a mom? Anyway. No. <laughs> anyway, anyway. You want to start your guac? Yeah, I can start the guac. While Anna's fluffing, we'll do the guac. Okay. So, I went ahead and cut the avocados. Um, first of all, where's my phone? Did I bring my phone? The recipe that I use is based off of this um, place called Bobaloo's that we had in, oh. thank you, Allie, in Knoxville. And so, they had a card. They made um table side guac and then they had a recipe card that they handed out with their guac recipe or with their recipe um so it's based off of that but i've adapted it and it calls for two halved avocados one tablespoon of sliced green onion what did you mark out um, I'll tell you in a moment. Okay, sorry. One and sorry. a half. Not thrilled, probably. She's no, <laughs> yeah. One and a half tablespoons of squash, squeezed lime juice, one and a half tablespoons of minced red onion, one tablespoon of chopped cilantro, which if you eat, you are Satan's best friend. I agree. Um, I agree. And it had sun-dried tomatoes in it, which I don't love I the love texture. Them. So I put regular tomatoes. Okay, yeah. Like diced tomatoes. Yeah. And then... It, Kosher salt to taste, which I put salt, but I also put garlic powder because they don't put garlic powder in it. And I add bacon. What'd you cut out? Cilantro. Oh, you crossed it out. Okay, the sun-dried yeah, yeah. tomatoes and just put regular diced tomatoes. Oh, I see. Cilantro yeah. would really take it up a notch. The, I disagree. Oh, I yeah. The bacon, obviously, if you could do fresh bacon, is going to be better. However, I'm not frying bacon in here because I don't want to smell it. You don't want to what? Smell it. You don't like the smell of frying bacon? No. No, I don't. Are you kidding me right now? No. Your computer oh, no. is on the fritz right now. Yeah, that's why I ordered a new one. On the fritz. Like possessed by the devil. Becca, is that bold pioneer woman? Yes. It's I stunning. Think it's it's stunning. Here. When did you get that? Today. It's oh. stunning. Isn't it very cute? Isn't it very cute? Okay. Um, do you want to wear this? I don't want to wear it. I have all of these cut and then I'll mash them up in a minute, but... Um, before I do that, let's go ahead and cut some red onion. And I am not a chef, so I don't want to hear it about my cutting skills. I don't want to hear it. Don't do it. Don't. You put a paper plate on my head with a billion <laughs> bows. You were getting presents. Did Julie slaved over. Oh, my Lord. You look like a peacock. You look like a beautiful. <laughs> look at her face. You look like a beautiful people. Turn around. It's my favorite day. It's my favorite day. Why did you come? <gasps> That's Say rude. You're Say you're sorry. So I'm not sorry. When um when I make this, I I'll, good lord, what are you doing? I always make probably three or four times um what I'm supposed to because who. Beckett eats it all. Yeah. Now you can fix my hair. I did. I 
added it. Mm -hmm. like that. Christina says, I'm sorry, but it's not Hispanic food without cilantro. Then, then this Christina. is not Hispanic food. Then I'll never then eat it. Pick another. Is not a true Hispanic over here. Never pick eat another. it. I will never eat it. So we tried to go to that same um, Don Poncho's place I was telling you about that didn't have chips last. Yes, Cinco yes, Mayo. yes, yes, yes. We tried to go there yesterday. There's a sign on it that says close. Is this close? Close. Close. And I said, is this a sick joke? And uh, they don't want to be open for you. You can't win. So then we went through the drive-thru, and I'm like, is it gone, gone? So, of course, I'm a true stalker, so I get out and, like, looking in the window. There's stuff still in there. Okay. I text your mom because I know your dad really likes it, too. And uh, But I haven't been able to find anything, whether it's for sure closed or not. It says one and a half tablespoons of red onion, but. I don't fiberware, ceramic. I I I feel like one and a half tablespoons is a, a small amount, and I like a good chunky guacamole. Onion. We love onion. Rach, do you like a chunky guacamole? I have no preference. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna throw this in there. Sure. It's probably three tablespoons. Well, I did double it, so maybe that's why. That's why we need it. Throw it in the bowl here. It also has green onions, which green onions are my favorite. Red onions sometimes is super spicy. No, they're not the same. So I'm just going to chop a little bit of this. Do we have any chefs here who are cringing over this? No. That looks pretty good. Uh, Stacy said 1.5 tablespoons of red onion is way too much. For who? For who, yeah. For whom? Also, I like recipes in? like this because right you can change it for whatever you yeah, like. Yeah, if you don't like. Just like the cilantro, we're not adding it. I should have brought a bush of that in here. Heck no. Heck no. Also, I'm going to put a crud ton of tomato because I love tomato. You know, Allie, Allie just whispered under her breath, I hate tomato. I used to hate tomato. It took me years, years to like tomatoes. These are good and acidic. Fallon decided last week she likes tomato, so I can put it in her food now. I saw that at Anna's when she, like, cleaned her plate, and she was like, look, Mom, and you're like, that's great, Fallon. I like tomatoes now, Mom. Yeah. Fantastic. And I didn't even have to make her eat them. No. When I got her hibachi Friday night, she said, um, give me the one with the broccoli because I don't like mushrooms. She, okay. She'll eat them, though. Okay, child. But what kid likes broccoli? She actually likes broccoli. She loves green beans, too. Uh, Beth, there's cilantro in pico de gallo. Do you eat that? I don't. Mm, um, I don't eat I, it. If it has a lot of cilantro, I will not eat it. If no. it's just a tiny bit, then I can sometimes stomach it. When, when I eat something and it tastes like they dumped Dawn dishwashing liquid That's exactly in it, what it tastes that's like. That's when I can't eat it. Can't but do it. if it's like light, I can I can eat it, but I won't eat pico de gallo. I don't like it. Computer come back on. I say no pico. Um, I don't mind cilantro cooked. Can you eat it cooked? I don't even know if I've ever had it cooked. Cooked have doesn't I, bother me as badly. May, maybe I don't cooked. notice it, so maybe I have had yeah. it. I just don't know. This is going to be some big chunks. Generally, I would make these smaller. But we really uh, wanted to torture Allie today. Yeah. Well, she can she can pick them out more easily. There you go. Mom says she thinks she might like this if it wasn't for the avocado and cilantro. Mom had us avocado. All really convinced that we were allergic to avocado. Does she want salsa? She Is like that it. what she she wants? hates avocado? Because of what? Guacamole is avocado. She's a strange bird. Yeah, so they That's said, okay. did you know that the love-hate of that herb is built in the DNA genetics thing? That's why I don't think Beck and I are identical. Is because she genuinely hates it, and I literally... Could still be. You just got all of You just got all of it. Like, that gene didn't split? No, you just got all I of it. I feel like identical twins can still have different taste buds on their tongue. Is that not a thing? Are you supposed to share, no, like, everything? this is DNA related. Right. That's but you're saying taste you're saying that's why you don't think that you all are uh, identical. But even if you were, it. even if you were identical, you wouldn't have different tastes, or you would. Do you use these? What? Do you use these? 
I wish. There's like four over there. Take one home. I love them. Oh, it makes what? it, take it home. It makes it so easy. I have Pampered Chef ones at I home. I mean, I have cutting boards, but not ones that you can like pick up. I love Mom them. Mom has them. She loves them. Um, I'm going to give you the poofy red because it's your favorite. You want that mustard yellow, don't you? There's a mustard yellow one? Yes. yes. So now I'm just going to put a splash of lime, and you can also use real lime juice. But again, this was easier. That is real lime juice. Well, I meant like fresh. Like a fresh. Yes, I meant fresh. Throw some garlic powder. Okay, people were asking about garlic, so she did add garlic powder. Yeah, you could use fresh garlic too if you wanted to. I salt the heck out of stuff. We Same. may we may add more salt. I don't know. Same. And then my bowl is tiny. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, Rach, tell them about like a cereal bowl or something. Tell them about the fork. Oh, um, so I was not working this morning. I was being a bad, bad co-owner of a business and was running some errands. Uh, and I was at Walmart and I left and was driving down the road and Becca texted me and said, can you bring me a metal fork when you come here? She thought I was still home. And she said, I I'm gonna make guacamole and I need to mash it with a metal fork. Well, I had left Walmart and I was like, well, I know how hard it is to make guacamole without a fork. So instead of turning back to Walmart, which would have been much easier, I keep going straight and I go to Goodwill and I try and find a fork at Goodwill. Yep, yep. So I park and go in. There is no forks at the Goodwill. I thought there might be like a like a little bushel, you know, like eight, ten forks in a rubber band sitting there. That's what I was picturing in my head. In nary, nary a fork in that joint. I Once looked again, everywhere. So I'm now, you don't have one in your glove box. Well, we we have plastic true, forks, Anna. but you can't mash an avocado well with a plastic fork. It's so true. that's why I'm trying to chop this up. It could be it could be a mess because these avocados. I was telling them, these happen to be the only four in the entire Walmart that didn't feel like a brick, but they're still not super mushy. I had some good ones at home. Well, that would be really nice to have had. I we feel like in my heart that I have a fork somewhere. I feel like you do too. Okay. Scoot like two feet out. I'm going to try and hunt for a fork. It would be in here. Why are you keeping it in your desk so I can't use it? Yeah. I don't want you to use my fork. That's what it seems like. Well, that's definitely a sturdier fork. Well, I've got this plastic one over here. I'm almost done with this. Well... Let me just mash it with my fingers and call it a day. Okay. You gotta love a good avocado on your hand. Mom said she and dad both didn't like cilantro. Fred loves it. I can't remember if Jenny does or not. Is it in your basket? Anna. What? Put those chips back in that bag and give me that bowl. What bowl? The bowl the chips are in. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. I'm busy eating my fruit chew. Which, what, which color do you like, Allie? Which color are you going for? It's it can't be as bad as she can read on. Know, Did it taste like cilantro to you, Rach? What? The vanilla one? No. Gosh, it's good. Oh my gosh. The orange is more bien. Oh gosh. I feel like this is a sturdier fork than this. Okay. Maybe give that a shot. <laughs> I've let you down. I'm disgusting you have. I'll let you down. You've let me down. Cat says use a hammer. <laughs> to mash to mash the avocados. <laughs> I mean. Put a, put a napkin over it and go for it. I'm not above it. There is a bag that our um, paper plates are in. We can put put it put them all in that bag and mush them with our hands. We may have to. This is not working. You you need to mush. You need to have a metal fork. Metal musher. And you need to mush your avocados with your metal fork. I tried so hard. It's okay. I'm going for it, Rach. Oh, 
my god. I don't think it's a That's going to bust a hole. No, no, no. I'll do it over the bowl. That's going to be a disaster. I'll do it over the bowl. Do it with like a flat hand. Real yeah. nice and easy. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm going to do. This is exactly what you should do. <laughs> you, oh, my God. You need a bag. Need it like dough. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to. Oh, no, it already. Oh, no. What? It's already out. It's okay. It's, out. it's okay. Now we're needing. We're getting the avocado. there. This is a. <laughs> this is a new age technique. I was really hoping this was going to be done. I got to go back to the salon. Right now? Yeah, I got a two o'clock appointment. Sorry, Anna. You snooze, you lose. Bring me some. I Look at that. Some. Look at that. We're getting there. You, are you sure you want Becca's avocado she needed with her hands? <laughs> This is fine. I'm not going to have any trouble There's eating this. There's some left on the table. I'll get it later. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. The Happy Cinco de Mayo. It's overhead, but that's okay. They oh. understand. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Anna. Here you go. Look, that's not bad. We're getting there. <laughs> Kat said, this guacamole train wreck is killing me. But it's going good. Kat, I think that as long as we get guacamole, we stay all the time. Yeah, all the time. It, it, it applies to everything in life. It doesn't matter how you get to the finish line. If you run the race anyway, you know, it's fine. fine. Look at that. We have mashed avocado here. That is mashed avocado. It's It really did work. <laughs> you know, it's actually interesting because when you go camping and make things like this, a lot of times you think you have everything in your camper, and you go to do something like this, and you're like, oh, I don't have a a metal fork in my camper. Why would I have a metal fork? I'm just going to throw all my plastic ones away. So you have to adapt. And you know what? I'm just teaching you all basic survival um, tactics here. You're welcome. Okay. We're almost done here with this mash. I think this is looking good. You know, I think you've really adapted well. I think so too. Well, let's throw this stuff in here. You know, I was very naive and thought all of this was going to fit in this one bowl. It's okay. Look how pretty I bet this it would is. When it's done. Look how pretty. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Allie's like, I'm not touching that. I bet in her head she's saying that. Oh, it smells good. Oh, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Super good. I bet it needs more salt. Do you guys like recipes? How do you how do you like this? You want to see more <laughs> recipes? You want to see more? Yeah, we're going to turn to a food, food channel. channel. He did some crafting. Okay. And now you got to eat it. It probably needs some more salt. Taste test it, Becca. Taste I, well, but I'm going to chomp in their ear. Here, I'll turn your mic down. Okay. Her mic is down. Oh, I forgot the bacon. Oh, she forgot the bacon. Oh, it's very good, though. Is it very good? It's very good. Good. Oh, throw some bacon in there. That sounds mm -hmm. delicious. Oh, I'm a fan. I would put more tomato in it, though. It's your guac, you know. I know. Oh, it sounds stop. disgusting. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing like fresh guac. You're not wrong. Look at this table. Hang on, let me switch. This is my life. It's my life. Hey, as long as we make some good guac. It's a picture of my life. Um, we're going to put some more salt in here. Shocker, I'm shocked. My gosh. You don't have to eat it. Oh, I'm going to. I'm living for it. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I'm not eating today uh, other than the Tootsie Rolls. Oh, yeah. Those really count as a full meal. I'm going to tear into this later. Okay. I don't even, who all is here? I've not even looked at this the whole entire time. We've got some really, really amazing people here that stuck around through this live, for sure. Yeah? Yes. You all are amazing. Mm. Looks yummy, minus the bacon. I just ruined it right at the end for you, didn't I, Dana? Aww. <laughs> um, looks yummy. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to be making this never. Sadly, I hate all various ingredients except the bacon. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry you hate life. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Beth, bacon kicks everything up a notch. I feel that way. I feel that way. 
There are periods where I want to eat guac like every day. Honestly, I've not had guac in a while because when we go um, to Mexican restaurants, Beckett wants the cheese. Oh my gosh, the kid could, the he, eats, though, yeah. he eats an entire thing of cheese all by himself. And then when his food comes, he looks at me and says, Mom, can I do it? And he pours the rest of the on his food, whatever it is. It doesn't yeah. matter. It could be a quesadilla. Like just, he doesn't care. No. Just, yeah. yeah. Yep. God love him. Curious well, about you, the bacon? Yeah, try it. Try what it. are you all doing for Cinco de Mayo? Are you doing anything? We hope that you enjoyed this. Yeah. Also, thank you for taking time out of your Cinco de Mayo or your just regular old Thursday. Absolutely. You know, we appreciate it. We love it. We yeah. love doing things like this. This isn't what we do all the time. Most of the time we craft. but I mean, and we did craft today, but I like to do different things like this with you all and just chat and hang out. It's super fun. We love this. We love this aspect of our community here. Um... I know I don't think I like bacon in it. That's so you'll have to try it. I when when um Babalu's has you can add bacon and or jalapenos and I'm not a jalapeno lover. Um but when my husband was like, "Can we can we do the bacon?" I was like, eh, "We'll see." Cuz I thought it doesn't need the bacon. It's really good with the bacon. Yeah. yeah. Um my 7-year-old is obsessed with all things avocado. Have you ever made him a uh, chocolate pudding out of avocado? I've heard of that. It's actually really I've good. Heard of that. Yeah. A lot um, of people have never thought about putting bacon in it. I love this. Cooking is creative. You're right, Diane. Absolutely. It is. Yes. Absolutely. Um, have it a wonderful time as usual with the flocking community. Thank you, Kathy. We've enjoyed it as well. Yes. Um, we do have a premiere tomorrow coming out at 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, and on Saturday. Right. What are those videos coming up for them? So we've got one on cleaning a machine, oh, machine yeah. maintenance, things like that. And then we have one um, for Cricut beginners who have never opened their Cricut, don't really know a lot about Cricut, educating them on some of the basics on design space and if you have to pay to use it and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, really fun, really fun content coming out this week and we hope that you're, uh, you're here for it. And thank yeah. you for everyone. Cause I know a lot of times when we say they're for beginners, a lot of our founding flock members who are seasoned Cricut users still chime in, like the video, comment. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Evan says, my last dead week ever as a college student, Dr. Ricker is coming your way in December, so I will celebrate with Foodie Night. Congratulations! Oh my gosh! Oh my that's, gosh amazing. that's amazing. Super excited for you. Congratulations. Oh, yes, that's, that's amazing. That's a huge milestone. Yes. That's amazing. What an accomplishment. Um, Oh, I was reading your comment. Join the flock today for hundreds of cut files, member-only content, free commercial licensing, access to the exclusive Facebook community, and more. Click the link. <laughs> we would love to have you all. <laughs> uh, let us know if you're re-watching and have any questions about the membership and things that we offer here, or if you have any suggestions for content that you would like to see craft-wise, reviews, whatever, here on the channel or in the private Facebook group for member-only content, let us know. You can shoot us an email, hello at oakandlame.com, or leave a comment below. All suggestions are welcome. Um, making some nomies on my Cinco de Mayo. And there's a friend here, Webby Wanda. I have replied to you via comment, but you might not have seen it. We actually made, Becca made two crafts in the beginning of this video. She's yeah. waiting on the crafts. That was before. We wanted yeah, to do the craft. So re -watch the, the craft. Yeah, feel free to rewatch to see some really cute Cinco de Mayo crafts that Becca made. Yes. Um, going to make some, make smoked tequila lime chicken wings. Ooh, Whoa. Romo, that sounds good. Yeah. Sounds really good. Thank you all so much for being here with us today. We are going to get some guacamole. Um, have a fantastic day, and we will see you premiered tomorrow and Saturday and live again next week. Make sure you check YouTube. Um, I know we have one scheduled for next week. We're going to add some, a couple more. I think we have three. Or do we have three scheduled? I think. I okay. think. I think. <laughs> anyway, check the YouTube schedule for the upcoming live events, and have a fantastic Cinco de Mayo.